I have some interesting news to give to you now. From 1971 to 1973, the planning took place for the Arab-Israeli war. And the Zionists were on both sides of the fence. <laughs> so that the war could end with a draw, an honorable draw. And King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, Rahimahullah, had been making threats for some years after 1967 when they lost Jerusalem. He had been making threats to in, impose an oil boycott. Henry Kissinger was delighted to hear about the oil boycott. And so Henry Kissinger decided, I want it because I need something to replace the IMF gold standard. And so with unusual brilliance, shall I call it diabolical brilliance, they planned it. And they encouraged Faisal to impose the oil boycott. And as soon as the war started, Saudi Arabia imposed, this is October 1973, Saudi Arabia imposed an oil boycott on the United States. And they were miles long, the cars lining up miles long to buy gasoline. But Kissinger was smiling. <laughs> Kissinger was smiling because his plan was working. So once the war ended with an honorable draw, Kissinger saw and Wall Street assisted and the US dollar started to tumble. It lost its value by 400% in one year. At the beginning of the war, the US dollar was trading as $40 for an ounce of gold. And after the war, the United States dollar is now trading at $160 for an ounce of gold. This calamitous decline in the value of the US dollar had an impact on the price of oil. The Saudis were selling their oil for $3 a barrel. But with the collapse of the US dollar by 400%, the Saudis are now selling their oil at $12 a barrel. And the Saudis are smiling. So then Kissinger made his move. <laughs> brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But before I tell you about his move, let me take you to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And Il Mu'akhir wa Zaman wa Islamic eschatology. The Prophet said that among the signs of the last day is that the river Euphrates, which is in Iraq, will uncover. The river Euphrates will uncover a mountain of gold. And people will fight over that gold. And 99 out of every 100 would be killed. And everyone will be saying, I am the one who will be saved. Indicating that this is not conventional warfare for that gold. This is nuclear warfare. Conventional warfare, no kill. Uh, 99 out of every 100. No. But the believers who worship the one God, who are there, should not touch that gold. That prophecy was fulfilled. This is religious symbolism. And religious symbolism has to be interpreted. Like, for example, the Prophet said that the Antichrist, or Dajjal, will travel on a donkey and the donkey will travel as fast as the clouds and the donkey will have his ears stretched out wide 
They are our Salafi brothers who join with NATO to bring down the Libyan government and who are now fishing in Libya and now re receiving the punishment for their fishing in Libya and in Syria. And they say that once Allah and his Prophet have not interpreted, we have to wait for the flying donkey. Our methodology is different. We recognize this to be religious symbolism and we say this is the aircraft. The flying donkey is the aircraft, meaning the Antichrist will control the sky. Similarly with the mountain of gold. They say this has to be understood literally. And so we have to wait for the mountain of gold to come from underneath the river. We say no. When Kissinger went to Faisal in 1974, the stage had already been set. Faisal was, was already smiling because the collapse of the US dollar had trans transferred itself into rise in the price of oil for the Arabs. Kissinger said, this is peanuts. <laughs> this, from three dollars to twelve, this is peanuts. Meaning, the US dollar can go down and down and down and down and down and down and down. And as it goes down, the price of oil is going to go up and up and up and up and up. And you're going to become fabulously wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. And Kissinger was speaking the truth. He was correct. Indeed, our prophet said that the time will come for some of his followers who when they want to give zakat, zakat, charity, mandated charity, they will not be able to find anyone who would accept <laughs> the zakat in Qatar, for example unless it's a Bangladeshi driver or a Filipino maid or an Indonesian slave. They're all slaves. They're all slaves. They work for the wage of a slave. So they're slaves. Our daughters, our daughters from Indonesia. So you don't find anyone to accept. And here was the fulfillment of the prophecy about to take place. Kissinger said, I ask only one thing of you. That's all. And you become fabulously wealthy. And he was truthful. All that you have to do is to make a declaration that no one can buy oil from you other than with US dollars. Faisal said deal. <laughs> that was a haram agreement. Haram. Haram because the Prophet gave us a free market. And the free market means you, are, you cannot be restricted. Haram because the US dollar was now without anything to back it. It was in no man's land. But Faisal said deal. And when Faisal said deal, then the IMF monetary system went into history and a new monetary system emerged called the petrodollar monetary system and so an ocean of oil an ocean of oil began to function as a mountain of gold this is my opinion and to be fair to you when I give an opinion you should never accept it unless until you are convinced that it is correct this is how I show respect for the intellect of my audience. Study the subject. Here is what the Prophet said and here is my interpretation. And so now a new monetary system emerged called the petrodollar monetary system. And the US dollar is the mountain of gold. Previously they could print paper to finance the Vietnam War and so on. But now there is no limit 
You can print as much paper as you want. There is no limit. The sky is the limit. And I am 